BMW 318. The uh, rear hatch is extremely, like ridiculously difficult to lift. <coughs> oh, good grief. Anyway, I need to sort of get at this mechanism to try and do some lubrication. But this whole pad at the back here is covering the spring, the tensioner. So there are need to remove the external fairing, which is a beast. Hopefully that can be seen on there. There we go. That contains the third brake light. So there's two bolts behind rubber caps, one from there on the right hand side and one from there on the left hand side and then you're struggling looking for extra fittings and that makes the, the thing loose but it won't come out but the sneaky Germans have put a separate opening where you can open the window instead of the whole boot. And lo and behold, there are two more fittings just tucked away. One there and another one there. And all four of these are hidden behind these plastic caps, which you need to pry it out. So we'll have a look now at getting these clips released and uh, see if we can get to the mechanism and free up this boot. The gas struts are off at the minute, they, they had gone anyway. Um, but the boot is just too stiff to open, so we'll. Uh, dig a little deeper and see where we go. Okay so these clips that uh, are the, the middle two fixings basically are this. So what you need to do is to extract the centre pin so get something behind that and pull the pin forward and then maybe a couple of screwdrivers, one above, one below, unless you've got a hook that you can get in there to then withdraw that ribbed plug. And that will give us access to the spoiler and the third brake light. Okay, so we've got all four points now removed. Um, don't just pull on this. Lift it. The car's just inside. There are a couple of clips on this side. And I'll slide it, get under it and slide it. So lift up and then pull it away and then there's one this side so they're just waiting there to be broken if you were to just try and wrench the thing clear right so we should get access there so we'll have another look so now with the, the spoiler loose we can gain access to the, the mechanism this side's creaking like a 90 year old's kneecaps and you can see, hopefully you can see, signs of corrosion there. So I think there's nothing wrong with the mechanism, it's just, um, just not been lubricated. So it, uh, I think the best thing we can do is load it with oil and uh, operate the thing a few times and try and work it through the system. We'll see. 
Okay, we've got the glass door only open at the minute. And if I operate the mechanism, operate the lid even, you can see the mechanism that's involved with just that separate glass door section. And the bulk of this does exactly that. So that's had uh, a barrel full of oil on both sides. But the actual boot lid itself is just hinged here. So that too has had a barrel full of oil. I don't know if that's a... because I can't see because of this structure. Um, and no matter where I pivot it, I can't get rid of that structure to be able to see. But there is what appears to be a hole in the end of there, so I've squirted some oil in there. And we just need to kind of generally loosen up the mechanism. Now this glass door is working much better than it was. But there's some substantial springs there for a glass door, which it has no uh, gas ruts, so it's purely held on them, so it's great. slight correction to that last bit because on operating the boot it's hinged both there and there oh, sorry about that so with a little bit of tweaking hopefully you can see The two inch points for the main main boot lid. So again, they've had loads of oil. It seems to be freeing up nicely. So we'll get some new gas trucks. Happy days. Put it all back together. Enjoy.